Hey everyone. <clears throat> so I've been getting asked quite a bit recently about how I make my cold brew coffee concentrate. So I thought I would do a video or series of videos, if that's how this turns out, uh, showing you the process and what you need and all that kind of stuff. So let's get started. So here's the stuff you're going to need to make your cold brew. You're going to need whole bean coffee. This is just what I happen to like. Um, you're going to need a grinder to grind said coffee. You want one that can do a coarse grind. Medium grind is really, really good for drip machines and fine grind is for espresso. If you do medium or fine with cold brew, you're actually going to wind up with a lot of solids that you don't want separating out in your concentrate. There's already going to be some, but this will make it worse. Um, also, this recipe that I'm using works with a one liter or 32 ounce press. So let's get started. So this is going to require me grinding twice. The first time I fill it all the way up to the 14 cups line of the inside of my little grinder here and then close it up. Okay, the second grind I fill it up till it's about between 10 and 12 cups and then I make the adjustment here and we grind. So I put all the grounds into the press here. You can see we're filled up quite a ways. Um, <clears throat> you need a lot more grounds to make concentrate than you would to make drip coffee. So that's why I have used so much. But hey, it lasts longer. Um, the other part here is that you want to use the grounds within 15 minutes of grinding so that all of the oils and everything are still there. So with that in mind, let's get some water on it. So this part's really super important. This is the water. I use filtered water and I just keep it in this little jug here so that <clears throat> I can have the best water possible because bad water makes bad coffee. You also want this water at room temperature. Cold water, not good. Hot water releases too much of the tannic acid. And the whole reason why we do cold brew is because there's more caffeine in it, which is awesome, but also because there's less tannic acid, so we don't feel so gross after drinking a lot of it. So we pour, and the goal here is to submerge the grounds as much as possible. And you can see, oop, you can see I'm getting them all in here. And I usually stop about there. And this is the part that can be a little gross. I put the lid on. And now what I'm going to do is start gently, gently working the plunger with the filter on it down until I see that it is completely submerging the grounds. Look at how, how far down that's going. So now that the cold brew concentrate is concentrating in my press here, I'm going to leave it overnight. 12 hours is about all that's necessary, but I never do anything just because it's necessary. So I'm going to leave it for a full day and then it'll be ready. I just leave it out, room temperature, let it sit. That's all you have to do. Now the fun part. This is how I enjoy my iced coffee. I will take my most favoritest sippy cup. Fall out for the win. Some concentrate that I've already made, which is nice and cold that I've been keeping in the refrigerator. And let's do this. First, the concentrate. I will pour until, oh, I don't know, just under half full in the cup. And then I will add, because I can, a packet of stevia 
to sweeten. Because I like my iced coffee a little bit sweet. So, next up, water. So, we pour in, again, filtered water so as not to ruin the taste of the coffee. So now I've diluted the concentrate. Most people say you should do like a three parts water to one part coffee concentrate. I say screw that. I do one to one. This is 50% concentrate, 50% water because screw sleeping. Last thing, I'm gonna finish this off with a few ice cubes because otherwise it's not iced coffee. I also go as far as making sure that my ice cubes are made with filtered water because I don't want to ruin the flavor of the coffee that I waited so long for. So there you have it. I have made cold brew concentrate and my sippy cup filled with iced coffee. If you want to do this with hot coffee, what you can do is still make the concentrate the same way. Grab a coffee mug fill it with a little bit of the concentrate and pour boiled water on top of it and you've got yourself a nice hot cup of coffee for those cold days that won't give you that sick coffee belly feeling. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little series and if you have any questions, I might answer them. Maybe. If you pay me enough. <laughs>